Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we're making sticky Asian ribs. So this might feel a little strange, a little different. It does to, it does us, to us. for sure. But this is fun too. Like this is going to be the style, not a recipe, not a guide, not a how-to. You might get a recipe out of it. Yeah. But it's more like come hang out in our kitchen with us. Maybe we'll make some food that's delicious. Maybe we'll make some mistakes. We'll all sure. find out together later on in this video. So if you've been around for a while, you know that we do love to cook, but ordinarily our videos are more focused on just the food or right. in a short format. Well, it's like, who wants to get ready? <laughs> you know, we're making dinner. Who yeah. wants to get all gussied up for this? Yeah, so, so you'll still see shorts and you'll still see those other sorts of videos from time to time, but we thought that we would add this style in as well so bear with us yeah. while we figure it all out more of like a cook with us but you know this is the first one so a little trial and error here so that's right that's right okay so all right first before you get started on the well you can go ahead okay and get going the reason i picked this recipe is because we've had a warm snap and then a cold snap. Right now we're in the, the cold snap. But a couple of weeks ago, I was already starting to dream about hanging around on the patio. And one of our favorites that we have in the summer. In oh spring, my gosh. Ribs. Is ribs. And for me, uh, ordinary ribs, like barbecue ribs, done in the oven, although yeah. I've had them that are great. If I'm thinking about grilled, smoked, barbecued from yes. outside, yeah. that's not gonna scratch that itch. Right. So I thought, let's do the Asian style. I don't know that I've ever made these before. Have yeah. You? No, I don't. I I don't believe I have, but I I really love them. So I think this is a good thing to put on the rotation here. All right. So what are we using? This is pork. Yeah, just boneless pork ribs. Um, and I think the boneless is a good option. Yeah. They're actually not very expensive at all. I think one of the packs was four four dollars fifty cents or something like that, less than five dollars. Right. And then you know we had two other packs, and they're right around the same price. Right. So what we're planning on doing, and this is how we cook, right? We'll try to assemble a recipe for you down in the comments, but we're gonna season these up and probably not tell you amounts right away. Also, we've never made these before, as we just mentioned, so we don't really know exactly how we want it to be. We kind of play with, I don't know, go yeah. by what how things feel and look. So right, and a lot see. of times if we don't know a recipe or whatever, we'll glance at the recipe and we'll, but we'll make it our style, you know, we just kind of, do things as we do it. So I think what we intend to do is make a little dry rub, season them, zhuzh that around, and then we have a sauce that we're gonna build together. So do you wanna come closer? Come closer. All right, well, you're closer now. <laughs> um, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, so a little bit of salt, but not too much, cause you know, we've got soy sauce and stuff in here. So we wanna just season the meat a little bit here. Toss it around a little, and what goes with salt? Pepper. I prefer, actually, pepper to salt. How about you? Uh, I don't know. So, I mean, I love pepper, you know? But I do think that, you, think that you find a lot of salt in other things, in other sauces, and right. other spice blends and whatever, so I feel like, I don't know, I tend to use pepper more. Yeah, so we're not measuring here, just like a good Whatever, you know, works for you. Like a good coating, I guess. A turn around the pan, as they say. Oh my gosh, you guys. So as we're hanging out and cooking, tell, you can say quick what you're using. Uh, paprika. Okay. Um, we just found out today that Hell's Kitchen, Gordon Ramsay, you know, Hell's Kitchen restaurant is being opened in Chicago. And we are there. <laughs> A little garlic powder. All right, well, sorry about that. You think you have everything taken care of when you start filming, and uh, apparently we didn't swap out the battery. So, new battery now, and uh, back to seasoning these things up. And what what were you saying at the time, Laura? 
Uh, well, what's next? This uh, onion powder. I put a little onion powder in there already. Well, actually, a little bit more. Let's put a little bit more. In yeah, there. I don't know if you did. I think that's where we stopped. Anyway, what I was saying is, I heard. Well, I heard. I always like to say like. Oh, I heard this on the news or a friend told me and actually <laughs> like that's my go-to. That's what I default to. But it's actually, I saw it on Instagram, Hell's Kitchen, Chicago, Hell's I think Kitchen. is opening this year. I mean, it's coming for sure. I think it's later this year and uh, be looking for a video of us nice. going. I don't care how much it costs. We'll save up. I We have to do that. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to do that. I would get the lobster risotto. That mm. looks so good. Every time I watch that show, you'd probably go Beef Wellington, huh? Probably. Well, you know, I, I would love to get the lobster. I mean, we're going to try each other's food. So, yeah, I would go with the Wellington. Um, okay, let's switch this out. Now we're gonna, Oops. that's kind of what we were doing for the rub. Now we're starting on the sauce. Yeah, so. John with his left hand. <laughs> got a little honey. Anyway, and then also, I would love to have Gordon Ramsay's sticky toffee pudding. Oh yeah. Oh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, a little honey. Yeah, Hell's Kitchen, anyways, what we were saying is I would probably get the Beef Wellington for sure because we would like to, like, try what's, what do you call it, signature? Yeah. And then uh, go from there. So, a little honey, a little soy sauce, mix it up. I can't remember when that show comes back, but it's going to come back soon, and I'm going to be really paying attention to the dishes this year. <laughs> yeah. Knowing that we can try them. I, we had thought about going to Hell's Kitchen in Las Vegas. Ginger. And we're just eyeballing things here. So you can do the same. Yeah. But we haven't gone to Vegas, at least not yet. I'm sure that'll that time will come. Poison sauce and a little sweet chili sauce. That's probably good. And we don't really have to worry as long as it's enough. But if it's too much or whatever, we don't have to really worry about it because um, it'll just be extra left in the crock pot, right? Yeah. So it's Sunday afternoon for us. I don't know when you're watching this, but Sunday afternoon. There's a train wreck that is a football <laughs> game happening oh. in the other room. So I was happy to take a break from that. Yeah, it's not so good right now, huh? Yeah. Okay. I still feel the honey on the bottom, so I, I gotta keep stirring. Well, you keep stirring. Um, but it is the day of the week that if we are gonna cook together, do this kind of thing, it does kind of happen on the weekends. Otherwise, sometimes I try to make things when John gets home. We each have like our own kind of specialties, yeah. depending on what it is. But as far as like cooking together, especially when it's a recipe we've never had before, that's when we tend to cook together, I would say. Really, I mean, it's not a whole lot of cooking because it's rubbing <laughs> seasoning <laughs> on meat, pouring on a sauce, and the crock pot does the rest. That's right. But we are hanging out together doing it, and with all of you. That's right. So let's see. Yeah, sauce going in. I think the sauce will do fine. I don't think we need more than that. That's good. It looks pretty good, actually. Um, that'll be nice to, to cook in there, but... It's nice that Laura and I can cook together when we can. Lately, we've been so busy and a lot of stuff going on that we just, you know, quick and easy stuff uh, for the most part is what's been going on. And if you missed it, John does have the sink right behind him. He's turning around and washing his hands. So don't you worry about that. That's something we are paranoid about around here <laughs> yeah yeah we stay clean around here also it's just for us you so know. i don't know what we're having with this rice Abby, for sure. yeah. i think and then um oh i do know i picked up a little let's see where is it okay i forgot so rice for sure bed of rice then the sticky ribs and then oh yes Asian style, style yeah. salad kit. Chopped salad kit. I am a sucker for a chopped salad. Chopped salad Give me is delicious. Veg, little little bits of veg with all kinds of crunchy bits to put in and a dressing. Yes, that's what I want. Yeah. 
So, I mean, very simple. Um, you know, it's, this is going to go on high in the slow cooker for about four to five hours. Um, you know, you can go low and slow, uh, but we don't have the time for that. That's right. That's right. So that's pretty much it. All right. So we will be back and show you what these look like. All right, well, I made that sauce. Forgot some garlic, so just gonna add it now and mix it up. So we've got some minced garlic, and we are gonna add a heap. And just a little bit more, and that's it. So I'm gonna mix that in, and uh, we're just gonna let it cook for, like I said, about four to four five hours. All right, so the ribs are done, we think. Rice is almost done. Time to get going Gotta with make the, salad. the salad. So this is green cabbage, green leaf lettuce, kale, red cabbage, carrots, green onion, sliced almonds for John <laughs> Yeah. because of my allergy, wonton strips, and sesame ginger dressing. Yes. It's a, it's a nice kit because it comes with all that stuff. Everything's all measured out. Um, but, you know, the almonds are separate. Like, everything's separate, so you don't have to use that. There's the junk. Oh, I thought you were handing it to me. And then here's all the veggies. That looks great. Oh, it does and look what good. I do like is, I mean, yes, we eat a lot of sh on our channel yeah. um, but we are trying to be a little bit better in this new year a little bit when we can we've got a lot of commitments and stuff so some <laughs> of it's frozen pizza let's be honest <laughs> but we are trying to make a conscious effort to do a few more vegetarian meals and make a few more healthy choices so i do like that it's not just green lettuce yeah some, yeah i like the mix it there's looks some good. extra color in there all right that kale yeah. is so good in there too. We've had so this one before. Yeah, we have. It's been a little bit. So here's the dressing. That's how much you get. You can see the seasoning in there. And what I don't like oh, they is put they the mix. Wontons with the almonds. Yeah, they mix the wontons with the almonds. Uh, why did they do that? I thought they had those separate still. We had one before where they separated it out, but we do have wonton strips in the cabinets. Yeah, don't so we'll worry. just use those. That, yeah, I'll be fine. Well, John can use that on his. But anyway, so we're gonna mix this all up. Well, no, we're not. <laughs> we're gonna eat this. This is my salad. John can sprinkle that on. What? on his when we get there and I think it's just about time to eat. Yeah. All right, let's see what this tastes like. I can't wait. Mmm. Mmm. It is good. Mm-hmm. Little sweetness, but not too sweet. Yeah. I think mm. I would add, if I were yours, this is John's plate. We're both trying this from you. <laughs> see the pesky nuts over there. I think I would sauce it a little bit more. Mm-hmm. But... The pork is uber, uber tender. Yeah, it is. Fall off the bone if it had bones. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, with the sauce, it just makes it so juicy. Yeah. And, uh, I love it. I think it's really good. That's great. Me we'll too. we do this again. Maybe a few minor adjustments, but... 
Yeah, yeah. Well, that was fun. We've talked for a while about doing this style of video and then life, right? We get, we've been so busy for a while that yeah. we've just had to like throw things quickly together or we haven't wanted to take the time, I guess, to film at the same time because, you know, we've been so crazy busy so yeah hopefully we'll be able to do some more of this and i think so too and i think you know as we get a little better and a little more relaxed at this that it might be a little more entertaining this was a good one to start off with because it was just a like a slow cooker meal right so we just kind of mixed a few things together and chatted a little bit but you know when we have an actual cooking video uh, or a, like a cook with me video i think you guys will like it yeah I'll do some stuff and he'll do some stuff and yeah. I don't know, let us know what kind of things you want to see us make down in the comments. I would say John is more of a baker than I am. Yeah, yeah. I like to decorate and play around with frosting and sprinkles and stuff, but I'm not much of a baker. Well, I shouldn't say I'm not, I just haven't done a lot right. of it. Um, I like to do sauces, seasoning, soups. That kind of thing. Oh, and she's so good at it. Casseroles. Um, John is meat boy. Always. Yeah, meat, grilling, smoking, roasting, yeah. slow cookering. Yeah, but we would like to try some new things that maybe we haven't tried before. So if you yeah. have suggestions, let us know. Let us know what you think of this style. Some people just want the recipe. Right. And Give it they, to me quick. Yeah. This, 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 yeah. This. And we'll do some of that still as yeah. well um also in the future we'll have some videos where maybe we'll just cook and it'll be more like recipe style and then we'll go to the studio or over to the table and sit and try it with you so yeah. um where we'll, the cooking will be in one video and the review will be in another and we're going to be cooking through some uh cookbooks and yes. doing some online stuff and some celebrity chef recipes. So if you maybe don't have an idea for a specific recipe, but there's a chef that you want us to try uh, our hands out of it. I think we've made something of Ina Garten. Uh, yeah. We've done um, Nigella. Yes, we made her for sure. Marmite. Yeah, the pasta. Marmite pasta. That was good. Um, we're going to be working on the Snoop Dogg Oh, cookbook. my gosh. Laura got me the Snoop Dogg cookbook for Christmas. And yeah. can't wait to start cooking out of that. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah, so. we also, um, you know, in going through my dad's property and everything, we found one of my mom's, uh, like, favorite recipes book. So might have to do some of that as yeah. well. Yeah, recipes are mom's taught us. So yes. anyway, but we would love to add some international stuff. To yeah, cook. We haven't done absolutely. that much of that. So anyway, let us know your comments and your thoughts down in the comments of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things that really helps our channel grow and check us out on Instagram. Now, if you love, oh, I wanted to say too about the recipe. When we were kind of scouring different recipes online, I also saw a common ingredient used in this sort of thing is pineapple juice. Oh, okay. I think for acid. Yeah. I don't know what that would be in substitute of, like if you wouldn't use the chili or if you would use it all, throw pineapple a in with that. a sweetness in with it too. So. so maybe instead of the honey, I don't know, but that would be a different texture. I don't know. But, but anyway, I saw that as a common ingredient. So let us know there. if you make this kind of thing, if you make Asian ribs and what your go-to ingredients are, we would yeah. love to know. Sure. Uh, so I think that's all we have for today. But if you love ribs, Asian ribs in particular, yes. a crock pot meal, us. Or the video. Or this video, a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye.